Hello everyone. Welcome to the first episode of the Armadillo Soup Sleepy Cast. What the hell is the Sleepy Cast thing about? The sleepy Cast is because I am tired right now. <laughs> the people listening to this are probably going to be really tired if they're listening to this. I'm very um, tired too. I'm surprised we're even thinking of doing this yeah, right now. I, I got it's because of that dinner. Yeah, that had. Uh, yeah. That's. I mean, okay. Here's the weird thing. You've ha- you've always eat. I've never seen you as tired as you are now when you finish eating Lebanese food. Why is that? I'm not sure. I think halal ka paisa jo khana khaa rahe ho. Halal. Halal ka paisa ka tumhe bahut zyada paisa. Yes, that's true. Because uh, I rem. <laughs> There's just been so many instances at this point where you know Yusuf and I have been covering for you that I feel like the she <laughs> the sheer pride. Of क्या कहते you paying for the food for once is what tuckered you up. <laughs> yeah, हज़म नहीं हो पा रहा उसके बाद. It's just like it's so unusual for my stomach to feel this way because of that. And it's so weird too. Because they call I've never I haven't seen you this tired after you've eaten a full beef burger. But when you eat light olive oil and baked bread, <laughs> it knocked you right out. First of all, that olive oil was like I don't know what was in it. ठीक है, but it felt really heavy. Did it? Yes, did it, it did. Yeah, yeah, and after that beef pieces that we had, whatever it's called. Okay, yeah, the what were they called? Ah, uh, kafta kash, I think. Kafta yeah, kash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, every one of our audience members is going to remember the word kafta kash now. <laughs> <laughs> Messenger, they were like potatoes on top. Uh, no, tomatoes. Tomatoes, right? Ha, huh, what was that? It was like onions, right? Tum, oh, you're talking about both, the beef thing. Right? Yeah, it was tomatoes and onions. Yeah, it was both and fried onions. onions. Yeah, yeah, it was like there was to, some sort of tomato paste thing, and then yes, fried onions yeah, as well. Yeah, it was like crispy. Yeah, ah. crispy exactly. That's, Very desi touch to it. Yeah, it was like really pleasant when it goes in your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> and tender as well. I'm with the restaurant. Can I have any board like that? Yeah, let's not talk. Let's, 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 let If by any chance, ठीक है, the ca- cafe Beirut, whatever. It, it, um, cafe Be- cafe Beirut. Let's just cut that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hey, just cut that hey, out. Yeah. Hey, anyhow, if if वो जो नए सुनते हैं podcast. Hey, if, if you guys wanna if you guys wanna sponsor this podcast, we'll be happy to include your name more yes. often. Yes. <laughs> send often. send us more zart the kuft or whatever and be just call it. Caft cash. Caft cash. Caft cash. I think that's how it's gonna be easier to remember the name. <laughs> or like free food for life. Yeah, uh, dude, you don't have to even send us money. Honestly, if yeah, you can just come and eat at a restaurant like once life. a week, then fair. No, money is week. Money is good. <laughs> I'll take Look, the you, money. I'll have lunch every day. <laughs> Look, you know, if you're gonna have lunch every day, just like any other day, she'll get sick of it. Pretty much. Not yeah. by hummus. Ah, oh, hummus. Okay, I'll hummus, give that a hummus, slide. Hummus, it's like you know, it's it's like you know, बहुत ज़्यादा it's simple. It's like you know. The, You can have it every. Manta, manta. But let me put it this way: like when I was really little, now when I was like twelve or something, I used to be like the most avid fan of you. You guys remember those? I don't know if you've had them, waha. But there's like these butterfly shrimps and like the really thick batter on them. Wo. Yeah, not the really soft one. I mean, like with the thick solid um, batter. Papad wale. Papad wale. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was little, I used to love those shrimps. But one day, I remember my parents brought back. they went to the restaurant which used to serve it at the time they brought back like 10 of them theek hai and i just i imagine meri height kuch itni thi the shrimp itself was like this big <laughs> so i ate them all in one night and i swear to god i did not eat shrimp after that for like a year theek hai so it's not a matter of if it's your favorite food or not you eat too much but you're going to get sick of it Much yeah, like life, you see too much life going on, you're gonna get sick. Ah, uh, especially if it messes up your stomach, then you're never gonna have it again. Yeah. But the shrimp was it? It's heavy. Yeah. Shrimps can't heavy with that. No. When he was little, it felt like heavy. I yeah. mean, yeah, for for my size, ten yes. is fucking heavy for any, anything. Ten is heavy for a kid. Yeah, true. <laughs> Even true. chicken nuggets would be too heavy. Honestly, coffee is the chote gold chain. I'm so tired of eating. Honestly, it was just, it was the same for me. And they like, like to be dressed as. Dwarves now, small, yeah. as small as, people, as small people. Yeah, as small people. But honestly, just just okay. But we don't judge anything. We all will just go go like just try to be chill. There's like another example to it. Just remind me. Like you know how most people say that your broccoli is disgusting. Like most people, I'm not saying like that's necessarily the case. Mm. But when I was little, I used to love broccoli. Okay, yeah. when I was like a little kid. And then same thing happened. I believe we found broccoli outside some store in the market. And I was just, you know, pestering my parents to buy me like the whole thing. 
and I it wasn't even like broccoli soup or whatever broccoli soup. I used to eat the thing was boiled करके every. Okay, oh, I could okay. eat it like that. Damn. Uh, and then That's one hardcore. <laughs> and then one night, one night I ate like so much broccoli that I don't think I'd actually puked that much since oh, the party shit. that happened recently. Damn! Imagine broccoli puke is the broccoli like worst kind of puke. puke. <laughs> broccoli puke's the worst. Oh god. Why not? Because and ever since then, I kind of started agreeing with people. Yeah, I can imagine disgusting. the smell of this. Uh, it was like you don't like the smell of broccoli. No, I can imagine the smell of that. Oh, oh broccoli I don't puke! Right. Any puke right now. It was now. like. So that was like a that was like a childhood trauma moment. The amount the <laughs> the kind so of that became and like that was like a turning point you a turning point for you to become normal. Yes, <laughs> you should embrace it. Um, um, although now let's say I do what do they I do drink broccoli soup again. I think it's really fun. Uh, it's delicious. So. Yeah, you need to take some time off. Like I remember there was a, like I used to eat a lot of shawarma shawarmas when I used to get here. Like those desi kind of shawarmas, where every place is made from. The the ones that look like they were just like thrown in a blender with some yeah, sauce with like it. really bad chicken in it. Huh? With chicken, oh, so like yeah, you know that's yeah, yeah. Chicken, whatever, I know, oh, whatever whatever so. texture it had, and now yeah. I just can't stand it. I was, it's just like it just reminds you so much of. But did you like that basic show? I used to love it when I like shoot over Japan and Kano shoot with you. Did you love it? In- Yeah, I'm like with, I was like this much cheese, and I also like mayo <laughs> a lot, and I was like cheese and mayo on my shawarma, like, and then. So Over it was time, like the quantity that impressed you, not like you know the actual taste of it. Like taste, hoi chata tha. Like, but after a while, like after like a few months of having this firma, like constantly, like our house was empty, and after that, it was just like, you, <laughs> what is this made out of? <laughs> you start thinking more for and more me, out of it. For me, it was like the first time I ever had shawarma. Like over here, the tasty shawarma. Uh-huh. For me, it was like yuck. No, yeah. this is not okay. I should have seen it. No, I hey, to be like fair, I agree with him on that. Because yeah. like people, like you, you guys weren't the first guys who I met from the Gulf. But some friends I used to have before, they really used to, you know, go on about how great shawarma was. And then I, I, I was really little, so I didn't really pay attention if I'd even eaten shawarma before. So when I tried it the first time, it was desi shawarma. What he said was just like. All this horrible chicken is just stuffed with sauce, and there's really not much else going. On. And it's in those thick, fluffy pita breads rather than the thin kind. Yeah, it's like those half things. Huh. Because it's not like full. You can't really. Yeah, you like can't close the full. Like, yeah, yeah, you can't probably. grab it. It like it right. falls out one uh, end. Or the it's other. so stuffed that it doesn't really hold together anymore. Yeah. So it's because but, of the bread. The bread it's too small. Yeah, yeah. Why uh, not? It's the bread's not meant to be rolled up. The thing you're supposed to do with pita bread. <laughs> so to put something on yeah, top exactly. of it and eat it. Yeah. You can't just use pita bread to like make a roll. Ah, oh, there's yeah. like just chuck chick uh, chicken ki chunks out there that are just bursting out with every bite you have. Actually, bread is one of the key factors of like you know shawarma. A like good shawarma. shawarma. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely. And if you use that like the I proper so bread, like, like the one you know, we had, yeah, yeah. you that don something. Bread. Don don't give bread. Don peter bread. <laughs> don don peter. Yeah, yeah, bread, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. it's not going to go well. Yeah, dude. Don peter bread is. It's literal terrible. garbage i'm not going to lie it's terrible it's actual garbage yes. um but yeah i remember when i tried that the first time i went up to them and i was like are you retarded <laughs> <laughs> like is this really what you consider the epitome of like cuisine is and then mm. it wasn't until like i think 2 years later that i maybe when we were abroad once that i tried a real shawarma like the close to a real shawarma i was still in like malaysia so i assume it wasn't as close but i tried it and i was like oh <laughs> all right now it makes sense this is what the people jo bahar jaate jo ke pakistan this is what they talk about yeah boy what do you guys know about like that guy from he's he's in islamabad i think There's a guy in Islamabad. There's like a Syrian guy in Islamabad. There's a Syrian guy in Islam. Actually, I'm yes. not surprised. Red flag. He, <laughs> flag. he started his own stall, like a shawarma stall, and it's going really well. He started a, oh, okay, like a proper stall, like the yeah, it's like a shawarma stall. Okay, so he didn't get. like go for like a full I've, restaurant. I've heard that it's a very long line. I I do remember the con- like I have a friend from Islamabad, na, so I remember she mentioned it, and it was like uh, she she did mention some Syrian guy. It maybe slipped my mind. But yeah, she also said that he's pretty much the go-to guy for that kind of thing. I think it's probably the same guy. If it's a Syrian, it's probably the same guy. How many Syrians are there with stalls in Islam? Yeah, exactly. That's oddly specific. (laughs) So I think we can probably figure that out. And selling shawarmas. 
But I don't know, like, do Syrians know how to make shawarmas though? I mean, they're from, yes. I mean, they, look, if they're from North Syria, that's pretty close to like Lebanon and everything too. So really? probably, I guess. it's like the same sort of gist that the, do Pakistanis even know how to make dal? Yes, it's right by the border. <laughs> how much of a difference could it be from uh-huh. the rest of Punjab? Do Pakistanis know how to make sabzi? <laughs> Yeah. Was, and uh, uh, over here, it's not like shawarma. It's like shawarma or patani. There's like, there's difference in like the words they say about yeah. shawarma. Yeah, it's more like a deformed burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, don't even give it that credit. I had a burrito recently in Lahore. It is good. Like that is an abomination in and of itself. It it, it should have its own name, this shouldn't it? The shawarma's here. The shawarma's here. This should be called like, I'm pretty sure if... An actual Lebanese guy tried our shawarma, he would actually argue in court that, <laughs> yeah, in court, that it shouldn't be called a shawarma and that it should get some kind of different name. Yeah, yeah, he would like uh, order for like a hate crime or something. Yeah, he, he, he definitely say that a bad shawarma is equivalent <laughs> to a hate crime. And I'd agree with him. I don't think so people are that aggressive nowadays. They should be. Dude, At least. Dude, not for food. Dude, should dude, be. dude, dude, dude. Let me, you seem like people aren't, okay, let me give you an example. I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen this video, okay? But there's this guy who was um, at a McDonald's, TK. It was like this um, robust, what, what, what's a good word to call fat people? Robust. <laughs> robust. <laughs> Let's just call them fat people. Okay, there, <laughs> okay, there was this, there was this fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there was this fat guy who was at a McDonald's. I think he was in the U.S. or Canada or something. It sounded like that kind of an accent. Um, so he he was at the counter, and I think the order, the guy at the counter is taking like maybe an extra two minutes, okay? And the guy literally like ran here like, what the fuck is this? Where is my meal? <laughs> and I kid you not, he was pissed off. <laughs> if he's dying, I can't get... I remember he was pissed off as it was. And then there was this guy who was like right next to him. He came like on the table. And he was like eating his big one. He was like, mmm, it's so good. It's like, what the fuck <laughs> did you just say, motherfucker? <laughs> only picture Gordon Ribs right now. <laughs> That's all I can picture. What did he order? Like, was it burrito or something? No, it was at a, he was at a McDonald's. Oh, at a McDonald's. Like, yeah, I think he was going for like a Big Mac or something. Got really upset about it. And, the, and then the guy was just adding fuel to the fire. Okay, here's the thing. The guy who was yelling at was apparently really, really skinny. He, he, was, he was really skinny, okay? And the guy tried to, the fat guy tried to tackle him after that. Are you serious? I kid you not, this is all on... Giving him violence? Yeah, this is like a video proper, okay? So, um, and you know what the guy does? The guy like, he's like, he was skinny, but he was like about the same. So he like wraps himself around him, like got, puts him in a chokehold instead. And he manages to take down the fat guy. Oh my God. (laughs) Can you imagine, Yusuf, a... First of all, your passion about food argument, okay? But can you imagine walking into a McDonald's, eating your meal in calm, and that's what your day becomes? Just wrestling with someone? I've hardly ever eaten in McDonald's, for sure. Well, you it's usually ever. just That's bullshit. We always go to McDonald's. We always go to McDonald's. Yeah, go to McDonald's. Don't you remember the La Cas? Like, yeah, in La Cas, yes. Back in like A-levels, yes. Or SciCas or LGS. Or Beacon House or HSN or whatever. <laughs> or, many, or any other school you go to. We like to be inclusive on this podcast. Honestly, I don't give a shit where you go. Take yeah, I, I, actually, yes, I agree with you. So once you're in university, yeah. every single school student just starts it, looking like a prince. Yeah, exactly. So. They're yeah. all the same. High school doesn't matter anymore after high school. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Believe me, if, you think, if you're in high school right now and you think you look cool, believe me, every university student and literally anybody who's not in high school thinks you're a prick. Yes, all those summer internships mean fuck all. <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly. Like, yeah. dude, don't work too hard in school, kids. I remember here I am. I used to fail maths for 11 years in a row. Now I'm topping my uni. I had so many people who worked their asses off for 11 years and now they're sitting at like some local university, which they never dreamed of being in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so don't pressure yourself too much. Yeah, just have a good time. Yeah, just have that's a good time. That's all that matters. Just have a desi That's Yeah, just have a desi shwar, but throw up a little. Yeah. <laughs> Live a little. <laughs> Live a little. <laughs> Straight from the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> like, because. You guys yes. want a cup of water? Yes, yeah. please. All right. I'm just going to so go Should we should continue? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, go ahead. Continue. What else do you want to add to this conversation, Yusuf? Uh, enough about Shoema. Let's just talk about something else. 
and enough about food. Why like, do you kind of full right your now. favorite show these days? Enough about fat people. Yes, enough about fat people, enough about, about, about schools. Fat people, you're yeah. so pretty. Hey. Yeah, they are, absolutely. We absolutely agree with that. But um, really? So, yeah, really? I do, actually. Yeah, yes, right yes. Obviously, we do. We obviously do. Obviously. But, um, yeah, why don't you talk about your favorite not fat person on TV right now with white hair? Oh, let's just talk about The Witcher for a second. Yes. So, honestly, I loved it. Okay, I think so. I have told you this. Yes. So, yeah. And it's like uh, the base audience for it, it's the gamers. The gamers? Yes. Yeah, the gamers. So. And the ones who actually read the book. Other than that, many people will be confused ho jayenge. the ones who are not the gamers or the ones who don't really know about the Witcher universe. They will get confused. Hmm. If they watch it for the first time. Because yeah, there's a lot of things that they just jump over which yeah. they just assume the audience will yeah. know from the they games assume at least. That and honestly, it is a really, it's a little bit difficult to follow. Yeah, I mean, but that's like any adapted material, isn't it? It's like even Lord of the Rings, I'm pretty sure when they made it, they had like the book reading audience for, in mind. For me, Lord of the Rings was like, you know, a step-by-step process. I think so. It is like, it was like a step-by-step process. There was like, you know, a clear, there was like, and for even for like Game of Thrones, it like started like hot ice and it was like hot ice Yeah, I mean I haven't seen the Witcher, in Witcher it, he, uh, on the first episode. Yeah, yeah. There happens to be a fucking war. There happens <laughs> to be a war. So, yeah. the, like a the, full on war. Does the game provide like, context for that? Or? Yeah, yeah, they do. It does. They yeah. do. Bahut detailed, though. And uh, but like bahut kuch ho jata hai, ek hi episode mein. So, yeah, that's like which it. No, it's definitely not for people who haven't played the game or are completely new to the universe. Yes. So, so maybe play the game a bit, play some Gwent. <laughs> you think, Especially play Gwent. Do you think people would actually, do you think, uh, actually, you know, I, I was about to ask a question, but I actually heard recently that The Witcher 3. It's um, actually getting more players right now than its initial release. Yeah, I read that article. Like I've sh- heard, I've yeah, heard, the but show like, reignited that game. The Witcher was really successful. The Witcher Three: The Wild Hunt, the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. was really, really successful when it it was launched. It won like two hundred awards or something. Mm. Yeah, mm. and uh, now obviously after the Witcher, mm. Netflix special, I. Yeah. Uske baad obviously games or whatever else will be playing. Yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah. It's kind of like at least, Minecraft. Though. At least the ones who are yeah, involved literally. in the gaming thing. Yeah, I, I remember, um, what was it? Something similar happened with like, you remember the Lorax, right? When it came back. I don't know about Lorax. The Lorax, a little orange fellow with the mustache who wanted to save the trees. No idea. He's like a reverse Trump. It's like... Reverse Trump? Yeah, he's orange, but he wants to save the trees. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it was um, when that movie came out, people were not very big fans of it. Like, I, I thought it was okay. It wasn't the greatest, but it was like, okay, I could bear it. But apparently, after that came out, people went and read the book again. Like, the Lorex, the Lorex book sales started rising all over again. So I feel like that happens whenever any kind of adaptation comes out. Yeah. They get back to the old things, yeah. the books, whatever. Huh, the but I don't think when Riverdale came out, people started fucking reading Archie comics again. <laughs> Riverdale, I, I it's, Riverdale it's, it's like, it's completely different audience. Yeah, like true. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you uh, should look. If it's shows, mostly like teenage boys and girls. I yeah, think. a lot yeah, of like, like uh, you know, millennials watch yeah, it. Not millennials, millennials not uh, uh, Zoomers. Zoomers, Zoomers, probably, Zoomers, yes. sorry. Zoomers watch it. Oh, then wouldn't be surprised if millennials watch it. Like younger millennials watch it. Yeah, well, I mean, younger I, I watched it every yeah, season he's so the far. Yeah, younger millennials. Yeah, yeah, you're no. younger millennials. So. Yeah, I mean, we both are Zoomers, I yeah, think. We're Zoomers. Technically, technically, technically speaking, we are Zoomers. By the very strict, <laughs> uh, you know, definition placed in by the United Nations Organization <laughs> of what constitutes a Zoomer, we are a Zoomer. United Nations of Boomers. <laughs> United Nations. <laughs> let's say you're, you're not wrong. The United Nations is basically the UN of Boomers. <laughs> <laughs> but, ha. Huh. So the thing is with Riverdale, he's right. If you showed Riverdale to like my dad or something who's actually read the Archie comics, he would not. And you didn't tell him what was going on. He, and you didn't tell him the name of the show. He could probably could not recognize what that show is supposed to be. Even At least not even, even if he heard the names, he'd just be like, oh, Archie is like, it's like that character. <laughs> he wouldn't know. Yeah, it's, it's so, so weird it's, coincidence. Yeah, it's so distinct. 
otherwise from like the comics that mm-hmm. you can't recognize it. Right. It's not even funny or goofy or wacky. Yeah, it's straight up drama. It's like you take Archie Thompson, if you take all the fun out of it, you get Riverdale. That's its left. Ah, oh, just throw some serial killers in there, some cults, some The thing blood, is, the drama sex. should be like, you know, capturing. Yeah, capturing yeah. the real audience, but like in over here, Riverdale, it's it's not at all. It's it's like all over the place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, boy, na. It's like it it never focus. It's not. Is it focusing on any one timeline yet? You've seen it a bit. Like, or is it just like an episode by episode situation for now? It does like uh, it is an episode by episode thing, but every now and then they bring back something from the last season. They're like, oh my god, yes, this is explained now thoroughly, but not something very. Insightful. Major, like it doesn't contribute much. Yeah, they just want to add twists wherever they can, just for the sake of it. <laughs> and just hopefully they're gonna be like the audience is gonna be mind fucked when they listen to it, and they're gonna be like, oh my god, yes, I was, I did not expect that. So it's like, right. it's like it's a, like it's like trying to be like edgy. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to be really. Yeah, they're trying to keep you on your toes, but yeah, but <laughs> it's like, but it's like the cheap edgy by what huh. you're saying. It's like not, it's not something that will s- stick in your mind. But in the moment, it'll get a rile out of you. And yeah. honestly, we have to talk about the character developments. Oh boy, oh, they don't make any God. fucking sense oh, at all. It is terrible. It's, what the hell, yeah? Seriously, it does not. Like if you wrote down everything, like if if I went to season one and I was like, Archie has these qualities, and I ju- and I would, like uh, jump to season like three or four, then I'm like, okay, none of these match. Why is Archie this grumpy boxing person who's like fighting people on the streets? <laughs> Yeah. When he was like this star football player who was banging his teacher in season one. <laughs> I, sw- I swear, I swear, sorry, what the but, fuck like, was that? Yeah, seriously. so like, the, the teacher angle is what really yeah. like effed with me. It's because, look, Miss, if anybody's seen Miss Grundy from the comics, and you have to keep this in mind, some if someone made the show, they definitely at least glanced over the comic book, okay? Mm. Miss Grundy looked like a female jughead with one tooth down the middle of her. Can you imagine who read the Archie comic and thought that, oh my god, Archie should totally bang this woman. It, is, it makes total sense. But remember, the did. one, TK at least, the one who was probably like deciding the whole thing. Yeah. The writer? Because of the porn on it. I swear, it's like. That's the only yeah. thing that came up. Okay. Okay. A lot okay. of sex in the city, yes. a lot yeah. of uh, bold and beautiful. Look, I'll agree with you on that. He may have seen a lot of porn, but looking at Miss Grundy from the comics, how do you even jump to that notion? She was not the most attractive woman and <laughs> is putting it kind she was supposed to look like this old lady but there is a twist to that too <laughs> oh my god like oh god said, we don't need twist. to hear about the, any more of the twist the Let's twist talk about character one second, one second. I really wanted to hear this twist if the twist know. is that the hot teacher that is Miss Grundy in the show she apparently finds the body of this old woman who was supposed to be Miss Grundy like in the comic books okay. she takes her identity because she's trying she's trying oh to run away from somebody God. oh yes and i do remember she that takes the identity. Oh. Seen, like, first i'm still not oh. justifying it but yeah this is so <laughs> stupid like 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 the whole time you're supposed to think that she killed the teacher <clears throat> oh. uh, the killed the old woman i mean but then she's a teacher now and she's hot and nobody fucking noticed so you're oh telling me, okay, so oh cl- wait, so Miss Grundy's an old lady, right? And she's from Riverdale, she got murdered. Yeah, they never show her, they just show her a corpse. Okay, so I'm going to assume that in all the time she lived in Riverdale, someone knew that there was a Miss Grundy living in the town, and this is who she was. Did this woman just kind of show up and be like, I'm Miss Grundy's granddaughter or something, that's why I am also Name. Miss Grundy, or... Like, how did they, like... I don't know, honestly, it doesn't make she sense. She took her gone. identity, she took her house. She and, no took one, her... and no one batted an eye. No, no one batted an eye. Not us. till they, like, I'm not sure who was the one who, were, like, who investigated it, but they did find out. And then they threatened, they, they don't even, like, tell her that she's under arrest or tell the sheriff. They're just like, you better get out of town before we, your secret gets out. And she's like, all right, <laughs> I'll take the fucking deal. I'll kill a, you know, old woman in this bail town. Oh my god. Because I'm hot. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> being hot, as we all know, lets you get away with anything. Honestly, I left there in Riverdale around, around the time ke wo chre, What's his girlfriend's name? Veronica. Yeah. Veronica? Yeah. Jo na, his dad his dad dad's comes back from prison. Oh my god, hai. right. And uh, per, I don't know what happens to Archie. He, he tries to be a sidekick or whatever. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> I don't know... 
But then Archie from over there, it seemed like he had no like character at all. Never. At that moment. Huh. Archie's just like, I want to be a gangster now. Like him. I don't know what, like he wanted to do be a gangster or what he was trying to do. I'm hurt on the inside and now I must express my feeling through doing a crime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's literally the route he went down. Huh, that kind of so, started off like I want Veronica's dad's approval because I'm like bagging his daughter. So if I work alongside him, I'll, I'll be like, you know, he'll, he'll look up oh, to me and be yeah. like, he's worthy. I forgot that you mentioned her dad's like some kind of... Yeah, he's like a part of a mafia. Yeah, or some kind of mafia. Yeah, he's like the overlord. He rule. He basically bots buys the whole town. Okay, yeah. that by the way, that is something I can actually get behind because I don't think at any point in the Archie comics did they actually mention how Mister Lodge is as rich as he is. It's just like, oh, Harem Lodge is just the rich guy of the town. We never find out what he does for them, so he may as well be a some sort of mafia lord. I don't know. Like he deals in everything that's shady. He deals in drugs. He deals in rum. He buys property. Wait, there's prohibition in this. In this, yeah. I mean, otherwise, why would anyone have to deal in rum? Veronica has a speakeasy in the show. What? So, so wait, what era does this take place in? Is, oh. this, is this the Roaring? They have cell phones, don't they? They will probably have cell phones. They have cell phones. Yes, so, what? This is some distant future where the United States banned alcohol again. Is that what's going on? I don't know what the hell I'm is going sure. on with the Riverdale, but let's just stop at Riverdale because it's. <laughs> but I love Riverdale talking. It's, it's, <laughs> right. Speaking it, of Netflix, though. Speaking of it's, Netflix, though. It's going to be shit in like five years. It's going to be. If shit it's around in five years, that's very wishful. Let's just let's just say it ends in five years, Tiga. You're talking about Netflix. No, no, he's talking about Riverdale. Yeah. So it's going to be shit in right. the future as well. All right. Well. So <laughs> le- <laughs> speaking about ca- character development, specific. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think Game of Thrones mein Tyrion ki character development was the best. What by the end of it? No, by not by the end of it, but Throughout? from the start mm-hmm. to the mid. Till okay. season like four or five. I ah, think. I'm sure a lot of people. Yeah, agree with I that. remember when I when we were uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, we actually got an opportunity, me and a few friends of mine, to talk to the writers and directors of Game of Thrones uh, a few weeks back. Uh, what, Dan and David, right? Right. Yeah. So D and D. D and D. That's that's what I know them by. But I was like, if I just say D and D, that's a little insulting. So. We got a chance to talk to them and they we actually got to know some very interesting things about the end of the season it was something along the lines of their they actually legitimately had some laxes in memory when it came to the plot line so that's why a lot of things went unresolved more like had laxatives <laughs> fuck <laughs> shit all over memory, the show am i right shit all over the show <laughs> but actually when you actually hear how they came to make the show from start to finish and how many hurdles like kind of came in their way in the sense that the the show wasn't meant to be as, as budgeted as it was people were very unsure about it in the beginning and they went through so many situations that were such like you know beginner filmmaker troubles it's like oh my god we can't find a baby for the scene we have to make some calls like and then you actually realize that you know it's kind of a blessing that that show even existed in the first place because people tend to think hey, oh this was netflix's proud son like they were sorry not netflix HBO. this is hbo's proud son they'd give it everything it ever needed from start to finish no in the in the beginning it was treated pretty much like any other show until it proved itself to be a money maker yeah, yeah. obviously miracle is a hard show i see it unless uh-huh. until it's like one of those like lord of the rings yeah where it's like or, such a maybe, such a name recognition oh, yeah exactly yeah. so jin ki probably pehle se audience bani di hai that show yeah that's everything yeah even like the one the star wars the mandalorian yeah yeah exactly probably usko sab kuch mila hoga disney se pretty much yeah pretty much yeah but yeah <laughs> speaking of netflix by the way um have you guys noticed how remember how people were talking about you know netflix would die like almost instantly as the new platforms came out It seems like Netflix is doing literally anything in its power to prove everyone wrong. They're dominating the market. It's, it's like Honestly. here, here, here. You're not. We're not going out of business. We're going to keep pumping out shows that are going to make the money. Ah, huh. they're really think about it. Best shows. Um, um, they've got like really two good films. Best. Yeah, the two pops. That's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like uh, I've also the Irishman. The, the Irishman. Irishman yeah. yeah, exactly. Like two really good films this year. Yeah. The Witcher itself, which you were talking about, yes. right? So yes. Netflix and uh, what else this year? I think Witcher actually does have the potential of eventually becoming well, not 
Netflix's Game of Thrones but something close to it. Yeah, it's just going this to be, cult following show. It's going to be like one of those big TV shows in the near future. Yeah. And like it's already season years. 1 and they've already started like uh like what do you say when they start writing like takes they take things away from the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I think that's a good thing. I think that's yeah. a good thing. But they're off doing the books good right now. Ha, huh, they're already like adding things that they're are not adding in the books. Yeah. All right. Ha, huh, and they're still doing such a good job. I think that's a good thank you kid. But let's just let's just say okay na I hope they stuck to the basic material they have from the books. Yeah. Okay get I and add a lot of new things. But I also want them to like shatter that disillusion for their audience in the beginning. You know so there's there's not these weird expectations oh they're stemmed away from the books like a lot of people had with some episodes of Game of Thrones. People are really upset about certain things when it they stemmed away. <laughs> I feel like if they start now and kind of like you know crowd testing it immediately they'll have more margin in the future nobody's going to complain whether they stem away from the books later if they just mm. start right mm. now that's true right honestly but, but they have to change the nil cards outfit seriously <laughs> it's shit <laughs> It's you really bad. Of course, if you played the games, it's not going to be the same kind yeah, of thing. It's going to be underwhelming. But like, it, come on, look at them. I know it's, they look it's like piece of shit. Yeah, they look like they're wearing like uh, like rubber. I don't know spandex. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Like it just has lines all over yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> just like lines, and there's like a little bit of like golden star. Uh, it, no, it's a sun, right? It's a sun. Yeah, it's a sun. But but didn't you see that one part? Where Geralt was also wearing the armor, and he takes it off, and it comes off like a boomerang. It just like what? flops on the ground. Like, yeah, I'm not sure what episode that I was. I think so. It, it's like one of those the armors that like gets like attached to a string or something. I think it's like leather, maybe. Yeah, and leather armor. that armor is not like you know those like bunts to those like knights armor. Hold know? on, or Witcher like a, armor. Yeah, yeah, Witcher armor. It's like you know. Why is he leather. wearing Witcher armor? Oh wait, this he is, is before. Wearing. He is very. I have no armor. context. The yeah, leather shit. Yeah, that's way. all it is. Which is armor? I'm talking about leather. Is that really like? Yeah, it's most... just leather. I think they have to be quick on their feet. True, but I thought there'd be they like don't... chains and no, like uh, you chains. Know. The thing he had a chain in a scene. Don't you remember? <laughs> the armor man. Armor with chains. No, I just said about the old times. I remember when I was a kid. Yeah, but like that's all about like knights, whatever. Like, which is which is need to be like you know really really fast. Okay, right. okay. So this is yeah. over. Oh my. Yeah, I'm beginning to see what you're talking about. Hold on. That's still the game. Is this the armor you're talking about? No, no, that's not even the show. Okay, hold on. Hold Let's on. Let's just. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Lifguard's armor. How how is Nim? Oh, Lifguard's name? armor Netflix just right uh, now. Uh, like N I F. N I F. Oh, Nifguard. Yeah. N I L F. N I L F. Yes. Nifguard. Nifguardian armor. Which okay, here we go. Nifguard. Oh. Yeah, look at that. That the one on the right. Oh my. That that looks like that straight up looks like what a person's thumb looks like when you're out of the bath water. That yeah, he, he looks wrinkly. like a fucking mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> he looks like he looks like um, a prune, but also like a SWAT team member. I'm, tell me if I'm wrong. He looks like a prune who happens to be in the SWAT team. Oh, yeah. Is is that not yeah, the case? Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, I can honestly, see. and the and the whatever the helmet they have. <clears throat> yeah, I can it see. Looks like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, the thing was, <laughs> yeah, you know that I was thinking that immediately, but then I was like, is it okay for me to call this guy's outfit dick like? Um, but yes, that you're hundred percent right. That is a, a very wrinkly old man dick. Yeah, is what that armor is. Dick out of out of water. Dick much. out of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. But oh, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully there there'll be some kind of explanation for that kind of thing. <laughs> Huh, cuz this is the kind of stuff you don't want to cut your budget on. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, mere khayal se shay change kar le. Yeah, oh, they might change. It. They probably will. Hopefully, but I don't I, I'm not sure if this is like an outrage yet. I didn't I haven't seen it, this article. It's not really an outrage. outrage. Like it, it's are. like it's like a recommendation. Yeah. You know. Yeah, huh. people have been very gentle with the show so far. They've they've been the like The thing happy. is they're yeah. only gentle because they kind of pulled it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's More that's than, the only reason. <laughs> That's the only reason they're gentle. They're gentle about the casting of the Triss. Yeah. And they're gentle about the Liv Gards. Ah, you know. Triss was incredible. I I don't even know who that actress was before the show was. Did you like Triss in the show? Uh, Jennifer, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Jennifer was great, honestly. But yeah, Triss was just, you know, in the books, I think Jennifer is supposed to be older than Triss. 
हाँ डेफिनेटली ट्रिस इज सपोज टू बी इन अ थर्ड ईयर्स बट आई थिंक जेनिफर इन दिस ट्रिस इज सपोज टू बी इन लाइक यू नो आई थिंक लेस देन हंड्रेड हाँ ट्रिस इज वे लेस देन हंड्रेड ट्रिस ट्रिस डजन यूज दोज स्पेल्स टू मेक अर्सेल्फ लुक यंग कश इज लाइक एलर्जिक टू दोज काइंड ऑफ पोर्शन और समथिंग Huh. I don't know. I don't That's know the is. details of all. But all Yennefer is almost a hundred. Yeah, Yennefer is much older. But in the show, she's she's young, I think. Yeah, uh, in in the books, I think Yennefer is even older than Geralt. Ha, huh, definitely. Yes. Yennefer uh, is like almost a hundred. Yeah. And uh, Geralt is like eighty or seventy or something. No. God. And Triss. Geralt is, like, is supposed to be eighty. Yes. Yeah, he's a witcher, so you know, like they, they, they don't. There's like a yeah, they age mutations. Like, you know, oh, there's mutations. Oh, right, right. They kind of age like really slowly. Oh, right. All right. Same like witches. Like, oh, right, right. like it's like a like a funny verse that this keeps saying. Okay, no witcher dies a natural cause of natural causes mm. they, because they like they they die in slowly. combat. Yeah, they, they, they always die in combat. combat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of verses, um, you know, it's one thing that has become very popular in that show. It's the song. That sh- that little song has become a meme in and of itself. Which one? Toss a coin to your picture, <laughs> oh belly of plenty. I'm so surprised you heard that song. I, I don't even have much like. Okay, so here's the thing. I never watched Game of Thrones, but I got a lot of things out of that as well. It's the same with this. That song has become like a thing in and of itself. It's everywhere. Hmm. I see it. I saw it all over social media recently. People are posting their own. You know. versions their own versions of it their own covers <laughs> and also they have, that would have been unfortunate wouldn't it have been yusuf uh, <laughs> i realized there's no camera here yusuf almost knocked over a cute little mic <laughs> mic setup um which by the way took i don't know an hour to figure out how to use this is supposed let's to, just say 30 minutes <laughs> 30 minutes yes, for generous. for our own dignity let's say it took 30 minutes to set up but yeah We finally got it working, and not on our laptop. We, we use the most what we call jugar technique ever, which is to plug it in with the phone. And, yes, you know it's working out. So hopefully, I it's hope. Working. I hope it's working. It's, uh, that's on you, late Ruby. So for your sake, I hope this works. <laughs> that's out. on you, sir. This phone. By the way, I don't it's think she's going to go through WhatsApp. <laughs> What's up, big one, Dal? Right? Are we going to send this to people directly? What the I'm fuck? I'm going to send this to you directly on WhatsApp. I was thinking about it. No, guys, are you mad? <laughs> guys, 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 guys! If you want to listen to our podcast, send us your number, and we'll WhatsApp the podcast to you directly. <laughs> It's going to be great. This is now a pay-per-view show. No, we're gonna get it first. I'm simling in a to hide our identities for WhatsApp. Banal ban dalenge usme. For God's sake, I meant when I'm going to transfer. Please call back. Na kare hum. Us phone number. Please don't call back. We, if anybody calls us back, we'll report you to the police. That's what's. Yes. We'll just block you off. We're not going to report you to the police. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't speak for If yourself. If you want to get I'm blocked, gonna... please call us. <laughs> direct, direct ISI को आपका नंबर भेजेंगे, ओके, प्लीज सेंड यू डोनर टेक्स्ट बैक। या वी मी टू योर एस। ओह माय गॉड। कम ऑन इट बी। इफ वी डोंट गो ओवर देयर राइट नाउ। इफ वी इफ इफ डोंट गो ओवर देयर राइट नाउ। प्लीज। व्हाट अ गुड वे टू स्टार्ट अर लिटिल करियर विद 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 अ जोक अबाउट द मीडिया वूमन ऑफ कोर्स। इट्स गोइंग टू डाइ डाउन। इफ वी इफ यू आर कनेक्ट फ्रॉम अ सिंगल पॉडकास्ट। या नो दिस विल डाइ इन एपिसोड 1 बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस एंड वी आर ओके हैप्पी। दिस इज व्हाई वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सेंड दिस टू यू ऑन व्हाट्सएप डायरेक्टली। यू कैन हैव टू सर्च इट अप ऑनलाइन। Oh, there's going to be so much redaction that's going to need to be done on this. It's fine. It's fine. If he's going to do it, yeah, obviously. take all the hate. How about my name? Let alone, like, I'm Ram Singh. I think look, so. Look. We already established the name. Yeah, names. the first. No, we didn't actually, but we've we've been using first name so far. So let's I think just we're keep fine. the first. Yeah, let's just keep going with the first and, names. Uh, I think we'll let's so, just yeah. say Hamza, Ibrahim, and Yusuf. Yeah, that's all. That, that's all you're going to get to know. Take I hope it. you're happy. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, you realize if, if this actually does take off, it won't make a shit of a difference. People, fi- people can figure out to some podcasters are even if they don't tell their names, address, or whatever, they'll just dig that shit uh-huh, out. Ah, definitely not including our yeah. like friends. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. They're going to dig that stuff up. You really think I did this? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Seriously, that's true. don't think if, if all <laughs> if all goes well, this will die in the depths of YouTube at some point. Hopefully. Yes. Hopefully, um, oh my God! Otherwise, we're going to get in serious trouble. People actually know how our minds work. Um, I don't think so. I'm going to get in trouble. Either, I don't care about people. Either, <laughs> you're definitely going to get in trouble. Either that, or 
you know, it'll be like one of the situations where we garner a fan base that's just as horrible and toxic as us. Yeah, please don't be Rick and Morty fans, whoever's watching this. <laughs> Rick or, and Morty is fun. Okay, here's the, here's the... Their audience is not fun. Yeah, that, okay, I, I agree with you there. <laughs> and as someone who's part of the Rick and Morty audience, I do admit I am trash. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. I know, particularly after the last season, the... Um, Show's fan base got particularly toxic, you may remember. Huh? I don't remember Definitely, because yeah. I've only seen like the first three episodes. Of what? The whole show? Sure, the, the whole thing. Of the, the first whole... season? No, yeah, 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 the first all... season. Oh, mm. I, I think you should keep watching. I think you'll find the later episodes better. But here's the thing, with the new season, they've kind of, it's, it's a lot better because they've kind of dropped the whole, you know, we need to impress people thing. And they've kind of gone back to those original roots from season one and two, mm. where it's like, random things going on every episode i i so far in the series i haven't even like you know touched back upon those old MacGuffins like uh you know evil evil morty and stuff like that they've kind of like abandoned that altogether mm-hmm. at the back of the race but so keep watching i think you like it mm-hmm. I yeah seen i'll probably watch either. it you should you should i think it's also got a lot of those weird twisty things like they used to have before yeah, yeah right. they're back and no, I've Riverdale also though. talked about like the, Riverdale. No. No. Sorry, Riverdale best show 2019 up till 2020. Up till the day of judgment itself. Yes. We've talked about that, Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, oh yeah, Sabrina. fuck Sabrina. I don't want to talk about that stupid show. Yeah, it's based from on the Archie Sa- comics, from, right? Yeah, it is. It's like one of Sabrina's the... Sabrina's Ar- a show on its own. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Yeah. Isn't it Sabrina the Witch? Sabrina, yeah, Sabrina the, Witch, the Witch. Sabrina think... the Witch was also an inclusive element of the Archie comics. He's right. Yes, he is, yeah. it is based on Archie comics. Yeah, yeah. They've actually had crossovers with the Archie universe at some point. Actually. Sounds stupid. Okay, imagine, imagine... It is much better than an... Riverdale. Honestly, I mean, yeah. Riverdale, think... you can't really consume... I know. Uh, I'm, I'm like, in... two episodes in one day. It's... Honestly, impossible. For guys, me, at least. Do you guys remember um, Wizards of Waverly Place? That show that used to be on Disney at one point. Yeah, yeah, Selena I remember Gomez. That show. yeah. I always got the impression after watching, after like kind of hearing about the Sabrina show, that it would be like a more adulty and slightly better version of that, which is why I never really stemmed that way. Mm. But, ha, huh, imagine though, imagine though if Riverdale and Sabrina have a crossover episode. It's like all thing. the cancer condensed into one single. Oh god, yes. Like it's, it's one like single tea, piece of media. It's like a tea bag of cancer and you're dipping it into the water. That's like the world. <laughs> or the it, it is, brains. It is like the snake from our ticket to Hawaii. It ate the it ate the rat the rats with cancer now it too has. Yeah, it comes right out of the toilet. <laughs> Pops are at the toilet. That's the snake, Wes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. It, that was the snake. That yeah, was that, was, that was in fact the snake. Yes. If, for, any, for any of you who, th- <laughs> who think that we're absolutely demented at this point, please look up Hard Ticket to Hawaii and watch it. It is such a gem and it'll hopefully explain what we're talking about. But yeah, if, if it's any. It's going to make your week. Yeah, honestly. you can probably find Not it on day, YouTube. It's going to make your week. It's going to make your week. Honestly, yes. he's right. Yeah. It's, like, it's like possibly the best movie I've seen in. Like, at least the past three or four years. Yeah, yes. but don't watch it if your parents are... Yeah, don't watch it with your parents. Yes. Watch it with your friends who are just as Crazy. sick in the head as you are. <laughs> like us. Yeah. <laughs> It'll make their week, too. <laughs> yeah. They'll thank you for it later, believe me. They, might, they may not say it immediately, but they'll thank you for it eventually. And you'll thank us later. <laughs> send, send us a letter. At, Please don't. Send, send us an email at whitehouse.gov for, you know, <laughs> to thank us for recommending Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Or just respond to our WhatsApp. Or just respond to our WhatsApp. <laughs> Should we just cut it now? Uh, yeah. All Ending right. notes. All right. Yes, um, let's just end it. How yeah, many minutes is it? By yeah. Way? Um, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the Armadillo Soup Sleepy Cast. Um, we'll be uploading more soon. Uh, We'll see how this does, and accordingly, we'll adjust our episode lengths. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.